Okay guys, uh, I'm getting ready to head out for a vacation for a few days. So, here's where I'm at. Uh, I put this cross piece in. Uh, that's no big deal at all. You want to start out here where it's parallel, fit it, slide it up. As it starts to hit this tube at angles, take your pen and just mark the tube. Take your hand grinder, just kind of grind it, grind it, and just keep working it up until it hits that center point okay then that's in tack it in good then you've managed to build a triangle you know it's fairly secure but it's still not totally strong because remember we have a huge gap between here so you want to right away start working on this so what I did was if you look at the other videos I had blocks here and whatnot I uh, took those out I put my shim underneath here so it matches the gap underneath shot a nibco strap down to hold it okay now I knew I just sorta of guessed and got close but before I bent it I put a piece of tape here I measured out like twenty and a half uh, whatever number it came out to be um, and I put a piece of tape there all the way around it okay all the way around it both are identical then I took a pen and I marked the center. Now, it's no mystery. I suppose I don't have a pen. Let me just grab a pen. Just You can guess at the center, okay? All I did was I just took my good eye, looked at it, put my finger here, kind of found center, and drew it. Transferred it over, drew it. So now my center that I'm going to go off of is where the tape meets the line, right? Where the tape right where it meets the line okay now the engine mount has to be centered to the aircraft it has to be square to the world perpendicular plumb level all that jazz so I just took a nail on my center line down here you know I have a block here supporting this I really don't need it but I know this string is good and it's pretty much the length of the airplane so I just threw a brad nail down that string is a real fine string it's a B50 Dacron it's a bow string for archery so it's really strong super thin okay I just took this piece of wood here and extended it I just eyeballed it it's probably not quite square I don't care I'm not going off the board I'm going off a string okay so then I'm going to take my string and here's how you do this you pull tight start make sure you're not hitting anything right you don't want it to hit one of the tubes otherwise you'll be off so I'm going to pull tight and I'm going to start wrapping. Wrapping. Okay, just keep wrapping it. See how it's tight? Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Then just take the string, lift it. There you go. Just let it flop. By lifting it and bringing it up on top of the wrap, it's tight. Cut this thing a foot longer than you need it in case you have to rewrap it. Okay. Now, you can see that center line, it is off a little bit. So I'm going to take this nail, I'm just going to bend it. Okay. That's pretty darn good. So I just sort of bent it where I needed it. Okay. Let me grab a square. Okay, I'm just going to just touch that line. Ah, that's a money. I tell you what, if you use your good eye, you can eye things up pretty accurate. And you can see that's right on that string. Okay, so that's my center. So if I, at this point, I just bent these in. I heated them up. Try to heat it in the same spot so they're both bent at the same, kind of the same way. You know, you don't want a real big arc here and a tight bend here because then you have what's called eccentric loading where things get the weight gets transferred not so even okay now this level I don't care I don't I'm not leveling all I'm using this is a straight edge I'm gonna put this on that mark right where that pen meets that tape right where the pen meets the tape okay and then I'm gonna pull a measurement okay now again I just guessed at it okay so here I'm coming up with just a just shy of 20 inches here, once again, one-handed. Um, I'm a strong 20, okay? So it's it's close, but it's a little off, right? 
Well, if this is a strong 20 inches, this is a light 20 inches, I have to go this way, right? So I have to heat this up, push this in a little bit. But before I get too carried away, I want to find my, my distance here, right? So I can just grab my motor mount, but I know it's 11 and a half inches, I, I think, what the print said. So I got to be 11 and a half inches on center. I'm going to split the difference with the string, and I'm just going to shimmy this out, shimmy this out, find that length of that string. Now, as this swings at an angle, this length changes. Don't worry about that. We don't need to get that technical. Um, it'll be just fine. We're only talking about an eighth inch difference, so don't worry about it. Just pick a number and go with it. Just make sure each tube is identically marked. Okay. So this is where I'm going to leave off, and I'm taking vacation. So have a good weekend, and uh, I'll probably get this few slides done Monday.